Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the factorial of a number using Java programming language. So before that, what is factorial of a number? So factorial of any integer is provided using this particular mathematical formula. Like if you want the factorial of n, then it is represented using n and this is the symbol for factorial. And how the factorial is generated for a number? If you want the factorial of n, then the multiplication will start from 1, then it will multiply 1 with 2, then this multiplication will be multiplied by 3 and this will continue till the n. So suppose if you want the factorial of 5, so now the value of n is 5, so it will start from 1 and continue till 5. In the same way, if you want the factorial of 7, then it will start from 1 and continue till 7. So it will be like 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7. So in this way, the factorial of a number is generated. So this is what we need to implement using the Java programming language. So now you have understood the logic. So whatever number you want, that number multiplication will start from 1 and continue till that particular number. So let's start implementing this factorial of a number. So here I have a factorial class. Inside this factorial class, I have one main method. So what we want now, first thing we will hard code or provide the value of number for which we want the factorial. Let's say we want factorial of 5. So we will say int num equal to 5. After that, we know the multiplication will start from 1. So we will provide another integer which will have the value as 1. So let's say int, let's say num equal to 1 now we have these two integers and now we need to multiply these numbers till the value of n so we will use here for loop because we want to repeat the steps because every time the multiplication will be done so we will have here for loop so let's start for loop for int i is equal to 1 so it will start from 1 and continue till it is less than equal to our number so whatever number we have provided here till that number we want the iteration because here you see it start from 1 and continue till the number suppose here we have 5 then it will continue till 5 if here we have 6 then it will continue till 6 so that's why we are providing here condition i is less than equal to num and every time we will increment the value of i by 1 and inside this for loop we need to provide the multiplication so first time the multiplication will be this integer i into fact let me show you here so it will be like fact is equal to fact into i so what this statement will do every time so what this statement will do for the first time the value of fact okay value of fact is 1 now and value of i is also 1 so first time it will generate the output 1 into 1 is equal to 1 so now the value of fact will be 1 let me print here so you will be able to understand it sys out and we will print here fact let's run this code now see so first time fact and i is 1 so it will generate the output as 1 now second time we have the incrementation of i so i will have the value 2 now and fact is 1 only so 1 into 2 it will be 2 third time i will have the value as 3 now but fact is already 2 right because we have assigning the value of fact into i to fact again so fact is 2 and we have the value of i as 3 so 3 into 2 it will be 6. Now fact is 6 and i is 4. So 6 4 is a 24. So here if you observe it is starting from 1 into 2 that is providing as the result 2. Then we have 2 into 3 which is providing as the result 6. 
Now we have 6 into 4 which is providing 24 and now 24 into 5 we have the value as 120. So instead of starting from 1 we can also start from 2 because always 1 every time the value of i and fact will be 1 it will produce the result 1 only. So it is better to start with 2 because it will reduce 1 iteration. Now what I will do? All the values are storing inside this fact. So final output we are getting is 120. So this is only the factorial of 5 right? 5 into 4, 20, 20 into 3, 60, 60 into 2, 120 and 120 into 1 is 120. So now in the final statement we will print the value of factorial. So instead of printing inside the iteration, we will just print single time. So we will say here sysout and let's say factorial of so we will print the number as well so we will say here num then we will say each and we will provide the output as fact now let's run this code so see we are getting factorial of 5 is 120 so if i replace 5 with 6 so what will be the output now so it will be same till 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 so it will be 120 and after that it will be multiplied by 6 so 12 into 6 120 into 6 so it will be 720 let's run this code so see we are getting the output as 720 so this is the logic here to provide the factorial of a number so you can start the loop from 2 and multiply starting till the number so here we have the condition i is less than num another thing we can do here instead of hard coding this value you can also accept this value from the user so how to do this using the input statement so let me show you that as well so what we will do we will remove this part here and now we will ask the user to enter the input so we will say scanner you can provide the variable name as sc equal to new scanner and we will say here system dot in system dot in and after that we will provide here int num equal to sc dot next int so it will accept the value now so if i run this code so it is waiting for the input so once i enter the input let's say i enter here 4 so it will give me factorial of 4 which is 24 because it will start from 1 till 4 so 1 into 2 2 2 into 3 6 6 into 4 24 but here you can also provide some message so user will be able to understand he need to enter the input here so i will say here sysout enter number And now if I run this code, so I will get the message enter number and I will enter here 3. So I am getting the output as factorial of 3 because factorial of 3 will be 6. So 1 into 2 into 3. So 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 3, 6. So in this way you can implement the logic for factorial of a number. So that's it in this video. We will cover another topics in next video. Thank you for watching.